Hi guys, it's Nikki here with Destin Hot Yoga with Melissa. We're gonna go over some information about our 300 hour teacher training. Uh, first of all, Melissa, who would you say that this training is geared towards? Who would benefit the most from it? I think this training is geared for those yogis who inherently recognize that yoga is a lifelong learning endeavor. The learning never stops. As much as I think we'd like to think that we can, you know, take a certain number of trainings and then we've arrived at this place and we can rest on our laurels. It's just not that way. And so I think first and foremost, it's for those yogis who understand that, that, you know, you've got to be a consummate learner in, in this industry. Um, it's for those 200 hour graduates who might still be trying to figure out their sea legs. Um, you know, I, I, 200 hour programs are foundational. They're meant to be a stepping stone to lay the foundation um, to get you to the next level and so you know even for me after my 200 hour program I still didn't feel like I had the depth of knowledge necessary for me to really feel confident in what I'm doing so it's for those folks who are looking for that confidence to become effective impactful teachers um, this training is also for maybe people who've been teaching for a while but who have simply lost their creative outlet, like they, they've lost their connection to their passion and their inspiration. So this training is designed to help you reconnect to that. Um, it's also for those teachers out there who are committed to making this their career, who really want to thrive in this industry. And so this training is designed to help those teachers distinguish themselves to become movement specialists, really experts in their field, ambassadors for healing, and um, and to just be, you know, committed to excellence and continue in that in that student role. So speaking of movement and healing, I've noticed there's a couple of names of your modules. There's yes. three of them. So tell us a little bit about each module. So the first one, like you said, is looking at yoga through the lens of it being a movement modality. For a lot of people, that's what yoga primarily is. So we want to cater to those folks that that resonates with. Um, you know, we're gonna look at asana and we're gonna break it down into its component parts, looking at the specific joint actions, making sure that we're offering our students healthy ways to move in their joints, right? Balancing out those extreme ranges of motion with strength and, and, and stability. We're going to learn to think critically about asana. So introducing elements like variability and diversity to make sure that our practice is sustainable over the long haul to make sure that what we're offering our students in terms of asanas and sequences is in fact in service of their everyday functioning in their lives right an argument can be made that some of what we do isn't actually supporting their health and their well-being and so we're going to make sure that what we're offering is meeting those standards um, we're gonna look at common imbalances that show up in people's bodies, right? And learn ways to work through those, learn how to use corrective movement exercises um, to help gain better joint function and better musculoskeletal balance. And then we'll tie it all up with a lot of anatomy informed sequencing. So that's kind of the first module in a nutshell. The second one, like you said, yoga as a healing modality, is going to look at yoga's role in restoring our mind, our body, our spirit into wholeness. I like to tell my students, you're not broken, we're not gonna fix you, but life happens, right? So we're gonna look at the physiology of stress. We're gonna look at the impact that our 21st century lives have on us. And then we're gonna learn specific restorative tools and techniques to help get us back to our true fundamental nature that that natural equilibrium and homeostasis that is our fundamental birthright, right? But life gets in the way. We're going to take a trauma sensitive approach to our training or to our teaching in order to give us the skills so that we can really create the sacred space that's necessary for healing to take place, right? For transformation. Um, we'll also look at my teacher, Don Stapleton's seminal work around self awakening yoga. So we'll gain tools to increase our kinesthetic intelligence, right? So that interoceptive capacity to really have a felt sense of where we are in the moment will highlight the importance of cultivating witness consciousness in our practice and our teaching. So really embodying that place of the witness where we're not judging, we're not fixing, we're not preempting the body's own inherent wisdom, but we're letting 
the body use its natural intelligence that is there to heal on our own. We'll also look at the oldest healing modality, which is sound. So we'll explore the transformative healing potential of mantra, right? So we'll add depth and dimension to our teaching practice in order to add like, chanting and mantra and the science that is behind that beautiful practice. So that's the second module in a nutshell. I'm sure I'm leaving some important things out, but the third one, um, quickly is yoga as a journey into the self and so that's where we really get to explore the multi-dimensional aspects of our being right we have these subtle bodies so we'll we'll travel inward towards consciousness towards the seat of the witness and explore those subtle aspects of ourself and learn ways to integrate those into our life and into our teaching to align with the greatest good We'll also incorporate yoga sister science, so Ayurvedic principles, into our practice and we'll learn how to design sequences that can be focused on each of the different doshas. Um, we'll take a bhakti-focused approach in this third module, so really getting back to that heart-centered practice of why we do this in the first place. Um, it's, you know, the third module is really a celebration of the self. Um, we'll, We'll be able to celebrate the radical uniqueness of, of our individual selves and refine our voice, right? To find out what our yoga is and how we want to express that in our world. We'll look at the Bhagavad Gita, we'll read that, we'll use that as a context to pull in our dharma, right? Our soul's purpose in this life and how our teaching can reflect what, what we want to offer. I yeah. think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we'll get into where we can find more information later, yeah. right? Because there's lots of information that I'm sure yes. that they will love. On our so, website, on the Dustin yeah. Hot Yoga website, and on as well as mine, MelissaShalongo.com. Yeah. Uh, well, one thing you said that was really interesting, we'll get to meet the teacher who made the teacher, right? So are there other teachers that are going to be joining us during this Yes. Journey? We have a very impressive list of guest instructors from all over the country. I really cannot say enough good things about them. I'm so excited. I adore each and every one of them. Um, not to bore you with their credentials because you can find them online. Um, but what, and they're all obviously super qualified. They all have their 500 hour credential. Um, they're experts in their own right and their own niches. Um, but aside from that, they're just beautiful people. I've had the pleasure of getting to know them and I can personally attest to their generosity of spirit, their compassion, their kindness, their willingness and their commitment to serve in this community. Really, some of them are pioneers in their field. Um, Trina Altman is, you know, indeed a movement specialist. She's based out of LA. Um, she, I believe, trademarked the term uh, yoga deconstructed. She's also done Pilates deconstructed. She is going to bring asana into the 21st century with us. She's going to help us bring in that diversity and critical thinking that we desperately need in the yoga classroom. Um, we've got uh, Mary Richards. Who, is, who has has been Judith Hansen Lassiter's, like the restorative queen. Um, she's been her right-hand anatomy woman for a decade now, I think. Um, so she's gonna bring her wealth of knowledge. She has her master's degree in yoga therapeutics, um, or yoga therapy. I didn't even know there you could get a degree in that, but she's got <laughs> it. Um, several of the, of the teachers are internationally accredited yoga therapists. Um, who else do we have? We have Alana Greenberg, um, who's going to come in for the Ayurvedic teaching and the trauma-informed uh, approach. She's brilliant. Just her presence alone has the capacity to just comfort you and heal you. I, I can't say enough good things about each and every one of them. Go online, look at their credentials. They speak for themselves. I'm humbled to be able to bring this caliber of training to the Emerald Coast. It's, it's really an opportunity that I don't think anyone should miss. Yeah, well I know we're really excited to have the opportunity here at Destin Hot Yoga, especially to learn and meet all these wonderful teachers and grow. And So just wrap it up, why don't you give us the next steps if we're interested, where do we go to find this knowledge and where do we go to take the next step forward in taking our 100 hours, 200 hours into three and four, 500 hours. I love it. So the next step right now, we registration is open. So you can find the application online, either on my website, melissashlongo.com or destinhotyoga.com. Um, you'll see the application under the 300 hour training. Um, it's a simple 
thing you got to fill out and turn it in. Um, right now we are accepting people into all three modules. We won't allow, we won't start assigning people into individual modules until November simply because we want to fill the training with as many people who are after that 500 hour credential. Um, remember 200 plus 300 equals five. So if you want that milestone, you do need to have 300 more hours. Um, right now we're offering an early bird discount. That's $3,900. That is going to end at, on November 1st. So that price is gonna go up to 4,200. Each individual module is priced at 1,500. So there's obviously a deep discount to get in that, at that early bird rate right now at 3,900. That's a $600 savings. Um, yeah, you just fill in the application, uh, you register with us and, and, and you'll hear back from us within a week or so. Um, I think that's, that's what you need to know in order, in order to sign up. Um, you do need to already be a 200 hour teacher in order to do this advanced training. Um, so that's the only prerequisite. I always say, I want you to have a, you know, a, a genuine desire to learn more, to have that open mind and open heart. So aside from that, you do need to be a 200 hour teacher. Right. You do not have to be registered with the Yoga Alliance, but you already do have to have that training. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us more information. Thank and you so much, Nikki, for having me. We look forward to seeing you soon. Yay.